Now minus 54 is the uh, lightest category there is on the uh, male side. And here we go. James Howe in the red. Adriano Alves in the blue. Howe is uh, ranked 82 at this weight category, but doesn't fight in this category. And Adriano Alves ranked 41, so, but also doesn't fight a lot at this particular weight category either. So, Alves, 22 years old. How is uh, 30 years old, much, uh, much older athlete. In fact, it's his birthday in a few weeks' time, so he's 29 at the moment, nearly 30. These two uh, actually fought in the semi-final of the President's Cup at the uh, Panama Open, and uh, Alves won that one, although the score uh, is not recorded in the record books. Still nil-nil here. That was uh, fought at minus 54 kilo um, division. How uh, typically fights at minus 58. Alva's just uh, taking the lead with that Gam John. Great movements by How. Alva's just somehow keeping a, a toenail in. Oh, what a spinning kick from How. He'll get an extra point for that as well. Spinning kick into the vest, looking for the head. Yes, the officials saw the turn. Beautiful move from How. How is that? Uh, Time up, what a move, and it's that move that gives him the lead at the end of the first. He leads by three points to one. So back with the action here in Las Vegas. How launching into the attack obviously has got a bit of revenge on his mind. It was only uh, late last year when he lost out to Alves in that semi-final of the President's Cup. How has, uh, has been uh, competing in quite a few Grand Prix events. Uh, on the circuit, 2013, 2014, he's uh, at the minus 58 kilo level. It's only very recently has he dropped to minus 54. No! Alves Pereira. Last three events. Uh, he was uh, second place at the Rio Open, third place at the Spanish Open, and took the silver medal at the President's Cup.
Quite a bit of quite a bit of support here for quite, quite a bit of support here for the American. Come a little bit closer, Jason. Ah, there we Is go. that good? Those yes, that's great. Smooth tones you hear, Jason Poos, who's uh, well. <laughs> I haven't got a time to list all the jobs you do. <laughs> you are doing an incredible amount. I've seen you doing everything. Coaching as well, when you can find the time to. I try to pop in and do a little bit of coaching to try to stay relevant here with uh, the, yeah. comp the competitors from the USA, for sure. Absolutely. So. Um, I want to ask you a quick question, first of all. Shane Lewis, she's got an incredible record. When she's fought on, the con on this continent, she's won. She's Pretty much every time. Yeah, there's no question. An incredible record. And, yes. Um, what, what happened to her last year? She wasn't compete, didn't compete at all last year. Yeah, I think once um, she fought in the Olympic trials and, and took second to Paige McPherson, had to kind of move her move her points up basically because she grew. She's a young young woman and yeah. grew and at that point wanted to fight in the light and welterweight division and and uh, was enrolling in a, the university and you know a college education was very important to her and her family. So at that point she was going to go forward with some you know a four-year college degree and, and really missed the competition and came back right well it's brilliant to have her back because what a talent she is and uh, we just saw her put out one of the, the, the top ranked athletes uh, uh, in, in the event and she's uh, progressing through but what a record she's got I just looked at her, her record on the on the database and you know it's just one all ones all the way down whenever she's competed on this continent she has taken a goal. Uh, there, I, in fact, I think you're right. I don't think I can't remember the last time she didn't win here, especially in, in, even the Pan Am, in Pan Am Games, Pan Am Championships. Yeah. We're going in there and we're winning those events as well. You know, so clearly as a country, we're grateful to have her back and yeah. have her fighting at a high level. And, and now that she's uh, got some time, hopefully she can put in for maybe the next quad and shoot for 2020 there in Tokyo. Absolutely. Um, here's uh, James Howe, another American fighter here. He's uh, He's doing, doing pretty well. It's and, uh, scores with a punch there as well. Yeah, um, James, James, a lot of experience. I mean, honestly, been a junior team in 2003, you know, when, when I was the coach. So have a great feel for James. And, I mean, maybe one of the nicest guys in our, in our country on our national teams. Um, just everyone loves James. And when he's in the ring, he's just he's so smooth. And that's what we kind of call him. We, we like to think he's one of the smoothest fighters here in the United States. And maybe one of the most experienced on on this field today, for sure, in this yeah. field of players today. Yeah. Well, he had a great start. Looking back, 2008, he, he, he took silver at the Pan Ams. Uh, but yeah, as you say, I'm just looking back in his, in 2002, he, he was competing at the World Junior Championships, Pan Ams in Rio in 2003, where sure. you were looking after him. And, it's, uh, and here he is now, up against uh, Alves, the Brazilian. Yeah, these two have met, I think, a couple of times recently. And so there's, you know, James is coming from the fly division to the fin division. And, yeah. um, you know, for him to uh, kind of start meeting some of these guys again he hadn't met in a few years, it's, it's pretty interesting to see that dynamic kind of take yeah. a fold again. Well, there's a bit of revenge in the air because their last, their last bout at the international level was the WTF President's Cup and Alves beat him right. in the semifinal. Right. And uh, Alves get, collects another point here. Now 4-3 is nothing in, in these new rules. Ten seconds to go in the third. How defense. Oh. oh, Alves gets the kick at the end. Oh, my goodness. His first score, he'd not scored at all. A Gamjong goes against him. That means there's only one point difference. How is going to be fired up for his final four seconds. Oh, incredible fighting. He's Has he stepped out of court? Let's see if she calls him here. This is going to be interesting. We She's see. calling it. She is calling it. And I think the card is going to come out straight away because oh, you know what he's going to say. He's going to say that time wasn't up. Right, right, right. And, it, and you know, it's hard to tell. Up. It's yeah. really hard to tell. But remember, you know, we always were told that, you know, when that hand comes in, yeah. the clock doesn't stop till there. So it'll be interesting to see how the, yeah. how the video review process goes here because this is going to be a touch and go one for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, you know, I don't know even if they have a clock coming into the screen there. Like, I've, they, you know, that's the appeal for sure. And we've seen others, we, you know, he's been doing this a few times early on when he's under severe pressure. He's just got these, he's virtually stood 99% out of the court. And he's somehow got the smallest, you know, it's like NFL rules where you, you're cool. seeing this toenail just sticking in and touching a bit of blue. And uh, he's been doing that quite a while. And, and obviously, James was thinking, well, he's out of court. He's got the point and lays off a bit. Right. And then realizes that he hasn't got it. And it's too late by then. Right, right, right. No, great point. And, Interesting, uh, you know, James James can turn it off and on pretty pretty easily. So it's exciting to see 
um, James back on on the field here, and then it'll be interesting to see how this goes because I'd sure like to see a, yeah. a fourth golden point round. That'd be pretty fun to see here for sure. <laughs> uh, we are supposed to be seeing the replays on the screen, but uh, I think uh, the technology here hasn't been the best US Open technology-wise, has it? We've had networks down. Like, we're not able to get any scores or anything through. And even the replays are not going on the screen. It's just about no, you're up. right. And, you know, it's, it's tough because you, you got to feel for the guys that are taking care of this because with the technology changing so often from a generation one to a generation two, you know, to a dartfish technology even upgrading there. And, you yeah. know, it's like any technology. It, every six months, yeah. it changes. And yeah, so yeah. these these poor fellas that are trying to keep on track of it. So, yeah, it hasn't been. We've had some errors, and it's caused the uh, competition to run a little later than we like. But, you yeah. know, one thing we have is we have solid, tough athletes that will stick it out. The important thing is the stuff on the court is actually working, isn't it? The, the stuff on the ring and the, the, the headsets, the, the, the scoring system. Although I'll guarantee you now this is going to go to two minutes on the golden point. They right. Have, they, they haven't worked out how to change that setting. I don't think they have that set up yet. So okay. I think that what they do is they started at the two minutes and then they just basically count the clock down a minute so they can have that last minute of the golden point, which, which from a coaching perspective, going from two minutes to one minute, it, it's a big difference. It really is. Golden point coming up. Uh, I've just got to say, uh, well, we're just waiting here. There's a little boy in England who's waiting to go to bed. I've just got to say on a personal front, Max, have a sleep well, my darling. Have a great night and have a great weekend. I'm a long way from home. Middle of the day here in Las Vegas. Good night, Max. I haven't done that before on a webcast, but I know he's, I know he's watching back well, home in England. It's half past 11. What is your mom doing letting you stay up so late? Oh, my goodness. Well, Max, try to stay up for one golden point round, if you would, and then yeah. have a good sleep for sure. He does love taekwondo. He loves the fact that people are kicking each other in the head as a sport. <laughs> it's quite crazy. You know, all the rules of what you've been taught as a young right. kid have suddenly gone out the window. Just kick them in the head. Right, yeah, sure. Now you can do it, and you're going to be rewarded for yeah, it. So yeah, how comical is that, yeah, right? Absolutely. Ironic for sure. <laughs> night, night, Max. And, well, to be honest, I'm quite happy with this little technical issue because it allowed us to, uh, for me to say that. Sure, and, uh, sure. I don't know what the technical issue actually is. It seems to be the – it looks like it's Dartfish. It looks like the replay system here because I'm looking uh, at the table, and the, the lady who's in charge, in fact, she's uh, – well, she's shaking her head, and I think, no, no, coaches are, no, they're not ready yet. The referee wants to get them going, but um, the body language of the, the lady who's in charge of Darfur, you know what, we cursed them, Daniel. we talked about technical problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. That is the ultimate media curse, oh, right? <laughs> Whatever we say happens, you know. Right. There was something that happened with uh, Sherman yesterday, it was so funny, I, I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I, I, it's terrible. My memory goes. Sherman will be all over it, and it was so funny because we we just talked about something, and then it just happened right in front of us, and we're just oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> we cursed it. And we but it was a perfect example. We've cursed it again today. Anyway, we um, okay. It looks That's, like we're ready to go here. That looks so. like a yep, a sort of slight grimace. Yep, we got through that. I'm a little bit. Now dartfish have been called. <laughs> First dartfish, then Dato, oh, now back to dartfish. So yeah, yeah, they're all like it's it. been okay. a tough technical week for us. There's no question. You're right, though. But at the end of the day, um, the scoreboards are working properly when yeah. the games are going on. And, and as a coach and an athlete, that's what you're looking for, you know. Yeah, so. The important stuff's working. Like, you know, I, I sort of, you know, on our webcast, we've got some brilliant TV graphics. We've got great systems in place. And, you know, it pains me to put a little corner screen in the corner. It's, you know, it feels a little <laughs> bit 90s. Or, you know, I, I yeah, just technically my personal pride is being hurt here. But, you know, it's it's the only option at the moment. So Yeah, and it's, it's working pretty well. I it's mean, okay. people can see it. So, yeah. you know, it's interesting talking with uh, our events director, Gina Mendoza um, Salgado. She, we always talk about being the first, uh, one of the first opens of the year. It's, we're fortunate because we, we're going to get good competitors. But the other side of that, too, is that, um, you know, they got to work out the bugs on the first one, you know, so yeah, yeah. You know, the U.S. US Open gets to be one of the <laughs> guinea pig events, and you know, we love, it's a love-hate relationship for sure. Yeah, you should charge them for this, you know, for the support <laughs> system. Um, yeah, it's tough for sure, but, we, you know, we're fortunate to have uh, MA Reg, uh, you know, doing some of our registration, you know, and that's a first-class organization, you know, and so, you know, it's been tough for them too, you know, they have so many changes, but, yeah. you know, Rakesh is, you know, the consummate professional, and so, our event, um, it works, and it definitely it works. We had, you know, you've got nearly two and a half thousand people here. So, you know, to handle two and a half thousand people, to get them all competing, I know one of the nights was a pretty late one, but to, to sort of get that. Okay, now, 
How has not won the match? I'll tell you that now. <laughs> right. It looks like what happened. It, it's all based on this two-minute setting, and I think what happened is they they they've sort of completed the match a little bit early. They had to give a winner, give somebody the win, and now they're resetting the golden point. Interesting. Now we have to change the clock back down to one minute. <laughs> it's all fun and games. Uh, what else is going on around the venue? You, you basically, you're the hooky bear of the US Taekwondo <laughs> event. Yeah. You know, you, so I don't know if you must be old enough to know your hooky bear. So he's the man on the street who knows everything. You know, Starsky and Hutch, they haven't got a clue. Oh, let's just right. do this first. We are, here we are, golden point. We're ready to go. All right. <laughs> Hal versus Alves. And, uh, well, Alves is the man who's, I think Hal has relied purely on Gavin John oh, so far. That's close right there for sure. Oh, that was... <laughs> This is a great, great dodge from No, now, it is it? great action going on right now. These both these guys are wanting to win this thing. He committed himself and he he just managed to run away. Just got away in time. There's only a minute on the clock. It's not two minutes here. We've already uh, we've already had one bout that went to uh, the computer system. Well, Hal's got some touches up there, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see if that's how this is going to go. Yeah. Oh, well, Alves, Alves got him in the head. the head kick. Alves got him in the head, and it was quick. It was touch, is a light touch, and that's yeah. all it takes, yeah. you know. So yeah. it was only a, it was scored as a 57 on there, which is a very light touch to the head. Yeah, Most of them come out as 99s, but uh, right. the slightest touch did it, and uh, Alves is through. And uh, well, James Howe is uh, his last two bouts. He's been put out by uh, Alves. Um, yes. Yeah, so going back to Huggy Bear, you know, Starsky, you know, she's always funny. You know, they, they used to love it as a kid. But 